لا غالب إلا الله means there's no power except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no one is the victor or the conqueror no one who can overpower or subdue anyone else this is what uh, has been the slogan for certain nations and if they kept that as a slogan as many other countries have done there's no problem with that it doesn't replace kalima it doesn't replace anything at all this is just a way of giving the strength to the people the belief system declares that we trust in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his power he is only one who could subdue others so whenever we as human being manage to get over some of the hurdles we remind ourselves by saying that it's actually not us this is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessing that he has allowed us to be victor here so with his support we manage to get that so it's just reminding ourselves of a true success and all the goodness that we achieve and gain in this world and in the life hereafter would be dependent on allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it, in one sense it helps us keep humble and continue to pray and stay connected to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and on the other hand it helps us not be arrogant and rather be concerned about the fact that if we do not behave the way we should the way we should do then we might be subdued again in different ways so it's a good way of saying that so if someone does that that there's no harm provided that it doesn't replace any of the other ways of becoming a muslim for example as we say la ilaha illallah to become muslim and that becomes that is our kalima that is the way we enter islam so they shouldn't take over that because that is replete in quran and hadith like in the way that is our basic creedal point and this is our aqidah point as well that there's no one conqueror other than allah subhanahu wa ta'ala means the victory goes with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but that is not the formula that we say to become muslim so inshallah ta'ala there's no harm generally but we should make a clear distinction in our mind that we're not saying it for the sake of saying it rather there are benefits of it inshallah ta'ala